Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to cover my uh, home theater PC a little bit more. <clears throat> right here it's connected to the big screen in the living room. And what I'm going to show here is the uh, power of the, right, excuse me, my throat is kind of dry today. The power of the Ryzen 3 uh, 2200G GPU uh, that's running this little thing here. There's no graphics card in there, it's just the Ryzen chip. So we're going to see what the graphics are like. So my son is going to run the emulator. And Sean, what I want you to do is I want you to open up Dolphin and go to the uh, graphics settings there so we can see what's on the screen. And you can see that Sean has it set to the Direct 3D 11 back end using AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics. The full screen resolution is set to 1280 by 720. His aspect ratio is set to stretch to window. Uh, he's got V-Sync and use full screen unchecked. Why don't you check full, use full screen, buddy? We'll do that, okay? Uh, now, check show FPS. And we're doing that so we can show the uh, frames per second that we're going to get in this using just the Ryzen chip on an emulator like Dolphin. It's using Dolphin 5.0. Okay, go ahead and click close, buddy. I think that should be what we need. And go ahead and open up F-Zero GX. Now, this is probably one of the most graphic-intensive games that you're going to play on the Dolphin emulator. Uh, if your system can handle 60 frames a second with uh, F-Zero GX, then that's pretty decent. Then that means you're probably going to be able to play any GameCube game there is that runs on the emulator. Now, what we're going to keep an eye on here is not so much the uh, gameplay itself, but we're gonna be looking at the frames a second to see what kind of speed this thing is running at. Now you can see it's running at what, 60 right there. That's just on the loading. So what Sean's gonna do, he's gonna run through one of the courses, just the, the, the first course, and he, until he gets to his uh, final lap, and then we'll see what kind of frames it pulls through this video. Now you can see right there we're at 60, 61. It, it's set to, it should hold at about 60. I don't have it set to go over 60. And uh, that's ideally what we're looking for here. So as you can see as this video is progressing, it's consistently holding 60 frames a second on just that little Ryzen chip. That's what I want to see. See, we're not big gamers in the house, but we do love the classics. We do love the emulated games. And so the HTPC here is perfect for that environment. And uh, how far has you gotten here, Shawnee? Well, you're still on the first lap? Oh, second lap? Yeah, he's just about there at the end. He's about ready to finish this up. And you can see through the entire lap session that he has here all three laps it has remained consistently 60 frames per second that's the kind of power that you can expect out of a Ryzen integrated graphics card or excuse me integrated graphics CPU so yeah if you're thinking of doing a home theater PC and you need something that runs good well there you got it people thanks for watching